Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, we're in Oblivion right now. Uh, I just started the game. We are at the character creation page, as you can see. And this is something a little special. Just give me a sec. Um, what's a good name? What's a good name, guys? I'm never really good with this stuff. How about Mike? Um, yeah, Mike's good. I already know what race I want to be. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Wood Elf. Wood Elf all the way, man. Every time. And I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So, let's just change his hair up. Yeah. Just to piss you guys off. What color? Oh, I know. Tinted red. Okay, bright red. Tinted red on that side, because it's shaded. Uh, yeah. That's going to be it. Mike. Alright. And we're done creating our what elf. Oh, anyway, what was I saying? Right, this is going to be something a little special. Um, uh, the reason I decided to play Oblivion right now is because it's not very popular anymore, but Skyrim is actually coming out in about a month, month and a week or so. And I thought this would be pretty cool. And my goal for this is to upload one video, or one session of videos per day of Oblivion. For the next, until Skyrim comes out. Not even for the next month. Until Skyrim comes out, I want to get up one session of Oblivion onto YouTube per day. And by one session, I mean, like, I usually record in 40 to 60 minute sessions. And YouTube only allows you to upload 50 minutes of footage at a time. So I'll cut that up into several different um, YouTube videos. Several, several different episodes, rather. <coughs> so yeah, I want to play one session, edit it, and upload it per day. Which is going to hog a lot of bandwidth, <laughs> because I do not have very good internet, My job right and now yeah. What's this prisoner doing here? This and this is even more annoying for me, because I just actually went out and I picked up Gears of War 3, and I haven't touched it yet, because I already told myself I wanted to play Oblivion. These guys aren't going to hesitate to kill me if I get in their way. That's cool. Stay put, prisoner. Good, let's go. We're not out of this yet. This guy's gonna talk to me for a couple seconds, Let me see you. and I'm just gonna skip everything that he says because it's completely useless. Please he had some sort of a dream about me, and I'm stupid. Now he's stupid. Look at him. Look at him. He's all old. Look how old he is. He doesn't need that robe. He's probably gonna sweat to death. Look how humid it is in this cave. You should be dead already, old man. Curse you. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's my goal for Oblivion. I'm probably not going to reach it. I'm probably going to end up doing uh, one session every two days, just for up upload times and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I want to get out a lot of Oblivion footage. And the reason I like doing these kind of games, and by these kind of games I mean open-ended games, like Oblivion, and I've already uploaded some Minecraft footage, is because... Oh, first enemies in the game. Yes. Oh yeah, and um, I actually already recorded, oops, I already um, recorded this <laughs> earlier in the day and I told myself I'd come back to it later because I actually recorded it and I played it back after I finished recording it to edit it and, it w and the uh, game's volume was way too loud and you couldn't even hear me talking or anything and it was just completely awful. So I just decided to re-record it. It's going to be about 35 to 40 minutes. Um, so it's probably going to be two or three videos. Probably three. Now these guys are di these guys are going to ditch me now, and uh, what's the okay? I've got some Oblivion experience already under my belt. Played this game pretty hardcore up until about a year, a year and a half ago, and I haven't touched it since. So. Let's just, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> wow, you get really ripped in prison. Look at that. Look at that. How do I even get that hairstyle? In prison. <laughs> What's this? How am I doing this? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. 
now. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I was saying several things actually, and I completely forgot every one of them. Uh, right. I was talking about open-ended games. Um, yeah. The reason I like uh, uploading footage with this and with Minecraft is because it's it seems like less of a walkthrough and more of just me playing a game uh, for the community, and that's what I love about it because. If I were to play a game, say, like, um, just pulling this out of my ass because it's the only game on my mind right now, actually. Say I were to play Gears of War and uploaded Gears of War footage. I I wouldn't feel very connected to the community that way because it's really just me playing the game as it was meant to be played. Um, doing everything that you're supposed to do in the game and then leaving it behind. With games like Oblivion or Minecraft as right out the gate. You get to do whatever you want. You get to go wherever you want. And you get to just... You get to do anything your way and how you want to do it. Now, all the quests, of course, you have to do a specific way in Oblivion. But, of course, that they're quests. You have to do them a certain way. But you can go wherever you want in this world right off the bat. You can go to the hardest place in the game right now. Well, not right now because this is the tutorial. But right out the, t right out the tutorial, you can... You can go right to the most difficult place in the game. You can. <laughs> it's absolutely cool and amazing. Ah, rats. What's my difficulty on right now? Load. No, not load. <laughs> I'm stupid. That's a little too low. I like to keep it about there usually. Hmm. And yeah, with Minecraft, you can do whatever you want. You can build whatever you want. You can essentially do the same in Oblivion. Although it is more on the adventurous side rather than building certain things. You can't really build much. Um, but, yeah. So I get to take you guys on my own personal custom adventure that no one else can really experience because it's such an open world, open-ended game. And if I were to play something like Gears of War, we, um, if I played it and you guys decided to play it as well, we both have the exact same experience. And that's not what I think uploading footage is about. I think uploading your own personal game footage is about you sharing your unique experiences in these kind of games with people. And that's what I like. And the same thing could go with um, not open-ended games as well. Like, um, let's say a Castlevania game. You can choose how many um, monsters you want to get logged in your logbook. You can, uh, depending on what game it is, I guess. Um, but you can do things a different way, and um, or like Metroid or any of those platformer games where you can just run around a map any way you want, find different things, and it's kind of it's like your own little personal experience. It's not really that linear. Where am I going? I didn't see any doors back here. What's this? Oh, <laughs> look at that! I completely missed that. What's in here? Lockpick and potions of healing. Whenever you find log picks or potions, it's always really good to pick them up, unless you're um, unless you're carrying a bunch of things already, and the potions kind of useless because potions do weigh uh, usually zero point one to one pound. So, yeah, but always pick up log picks and what is it? Always pick up torches, right? Always pick up log picks and torches because they weigh nothing and they're probably two of the most useful items in the entire game. Um, yeah. You can hockey items. Yeah, I know I can hockey items. <laughs> when I said I've, I've had experience with this game, probably about a good 300 hours or so. Good 300 hours or so. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I'm absolutely 100... 100... Sorry. Um, I'm absolutely 100% going to be uploading Skyrim footage the day it comes out. Maybe the day after, but I'm definitely going to be recording Skyrim footage the day it comes out. And you want to try, in this game, you want to try to get as many sneaking kills as possible uh, to not only get your sneak skill up, but to not engage in comment and screw yourself up. Now, uh, what's in, all this stuff is good. Weighed nothing, and all I did was gain from it. That's wonderful. <laughs> Oh, let's try to get him this time. The last, like I said, I recorded this before, and it totally got itself screwed up. And let's not screw this part up again. And it got screwed up again. Damn it! You're supposed to get that goblin to trip the wire, and 
get hit by those things, but it didn't work last time either. Let's pick up these bones that are worth nothing and weigh, f and weigh five pounds. <laughs> Maybe we can eat them. That would be cool, actually. Look down here. It's a very uh, linear tutorial, which is in great contrast to what I was just talking about, how I don't like playing linear things because I like sharing my own unique experience. Um, that's literally just the first... Like I said, this video is going to be about 35 to 40 minutes because I'm probably going to cut it off um, a couple minutes after I finish the tutorial. So you always... So there's always the tutorial at the beginning of the game. And... Or there is usually... I'm going to show you guys a trick later to get past it. But there's always the same tutorial at the beginning of the game. If you're starting a new character. And... Um... Lost my train of thought. What was I saying? I'm just awful. I'm just a wreck. I got very little sleep last night. That's why. Um... Um, 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 ooh, a goblin. Goblin, 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 goblin. Ha ha. Uh, let's pick that up. Let's pick those up. Let's not pick. Oh, whoa! Jesus! Where did he even come from? Did he. Where did he come from? Okay, now I completely forgot what I was talking about. I didn't just lose my train of thought, it blew up. And the pieces from the exploded train flew around and killed thousands of innocents and then those innocents exploded upon their children and their children were just left traumatized <laughs> that was a little too descriptive <laughs> i think we got all the goblins oh i'm over encumbered okay and if you're playing on pc then to drop things i had a lot of trouble figuring out how to drop things at first on the pc because i always used to play this game on xbox but um if you want to drop things on PC, hold down shift and then let just left click on the item. And I'm going to drop all this rusty stuff. That's better. <laughs> I completely forgot what I, was what I was talking about before. I seem to recall it might have been something important. But, um... Oh, right. I, I think I was talking about the uh, tutorial. The tutorial is about 35 to 40 minutes. And... Once you get past it, it's completely your experience. You can go out and you can do whatever you want. You can do any quests in any order that you want to. You can do anything that you want to. And it's just completely wonderful.